as soon as we realised what had happened, we were all jumped over the barriers and went straight up to the vehicles and see what we could do straight away. Uh, all four passengers in the vehicles were all um, all trapped um, with um, quite bad bleeding on some of them. Uh, they were they weren't in a good way. Any of the people. The safety improvements installed along this stretch of road will make a real difference to the people travelling on what was once a high crash area. People make mistakes, but those mistakes shouldn't cost us our lives. The road safety barriers that have been installed will be there to protect people by catching them when something goes wrong, preventing high severity injuries associated with runoff road crashes or head-on crashes into oncoming vehicles. We've had three deaths in this area in 2021. Um, that's three deaths too many. Even one death would be too many for, on the roads for us. These deaths aren't just numbers. Um, these are people, real people. Medium barriers are highly effective and one of the key interventions under the government's Road to Zero strategy. They provide physical separation to prevent high speed, severe head-on crashes. Where we've treated roads with median barriers in New Zealand, we've found death and serious injury reductions by at least 65%. And in some cases where we have both median and roadside barriers, we can see death and serious injury reductions by as much as 90%. One of the things that I try to install into our team straight away afterwards, um, because they were quite shaken up, was that at least um, they can be reassured that the work we're doing is going to prevent future accidents like this because the two cars aren't going to collide. One car is going to hit the barrier. So there'll still be an accident, but of nowhere near the same consequences. And I think that makes them uh, proud to be actually involved in it and proud to be part of making this road safer.